unwarranted and unprovoked war in Ukraine. And as the days uh, go on, the war is becoming more and more brutal. Uh, uh, he is clearly targeting uh, civilian housing. Uh, he is not allowing civilians to evacuate. Uh, he is fighting, in, in all senses of the words, a very, very dirty war. Uh, eventually, Putin will have to, and, and, and the, 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 the generals, etc., responsible, will have to report uh, for their crimes in the Hague. This is uh, inevitable. And in the meantime, we have to stay together as NATO partners uh, and stay strong also in our support for Ukraine uh, in any and all ways. Uh, all of us, the three of us, I, I'm not certain now if it's the four of us. I, I, I don't know that, but we're supporting Ukraine uh, uh, both uh, militarily and uh, in, so it's the four of us, we're supporting militarily and in humanitarian uh, ways as well. And we will continue to do this because in the Baltics and Latvia, I think I speak also for Ingrida and, and Kaya, that we feel that Putin is fighting a war against democracy. And we, as democracies, have an obligation to stand up, and democracies are allowed to be strong, and we must be strong. And right now, we are reaffirming that strength and that commitment. And uh, I want to pass the floor over then, then uh, to Justin. Uh, thank you, Christianis. Uh, what a pleasure uh, to see you in Greta. It was a pleasure to see you, Kaya. Uh, this is a, a wonderful opportunity for us to come together to reinforce just how important it is that. Uh, we stand strong together as democracies. You are quite literally on the front lines uh, of uh, this challenge with Russia. Uh, and we have been here for a number of years and we will continue to be together. Not just because we are friends, not just because we share values, uh, but uh, because we believe uh, in, this, in a shared future uh, of peace and prosperity for our people. Uh, and uh, pushing back against uh, the Russian aggression that is absolutely unacceptable, that quite frankly you have been uh, living not just uh, with the military threat, uh, not just with a history of occupation that is uh, all too real for so many uh, of your, uh, your citizens, uh, but also the daily use of propaganda and disinformation to try and undermine uh, the democracies and the values that you have, something that is uh, right now being uh, weaponized against Ukraine, uh, but also used very actively in uh, all democracies around the West. And we need to get stronger quite frankly, and learn uh, much uh, from all of you uh, in uh, your capacity to push back uh, with uh, strengthening your citizens against uh, that sort of information and disinformation. Uh, Canada, as you know, has the third largest population of Ukrainians uh, in the world uh, after Ukraine and Russia. Uh, so we are deeply, deeply uh, troubled and engaged uh, by this conflict in Ukraine. Uh, but as I was saying to Christianis, um, the impact of Russia's actions uh, are extraordinarily challenging uh, for your citizens as well because uh, you are so close and you know uh, what this reality is and that's where Canada is so pleased uh, to be here uh, in Latvia uh, strongly uh, supporting uh, the Operation Reassurance uh, and uh, working with your countries and countries from across NATO. We are demonstrating that unlike what Putin thinks uh, or mistakenly thought, uh, democracies can and will defend not just themselves and their territory, but the principles and the rules and the, and the values that actually make us successful in both creating peace and creating prosperity for our people. Uh, this is not a time for us to step back. This is a time for us to step up. Uh, we are doing that. We are doing that alongside you. Uh, and uh, alongside our friends. Alors c'est un grand plaisir d'être ici avec vous aujourd'hui. Je suis très content de pouvoir échanger et de continuer à travailler avec vous tous.